Hey yo everyone, this is a happy anime cafe with uh, the first extras video for the game Mobile Suit uh, Gundam Journey to Jaburo. This time I'm in the gallery mode with, with the MS Viewer. Okay, the, they show, show you all the, all the mobile suit, suits that appear, appeared in this uh, game from both Federation and Xeon. Model number RX-78. This was the centerpiece of the V-Project, the Earth Federation Force's initial mobile suit development program. Equipped with beam weapons, it is a highly maneuverable, multitask mobile suit capable of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, so since the te text on screen is legible, I'll let you read that out. Tank model number RX 75, a long range support mobile suit designed during V Project, the Earth Federation Force's initial mobile suit development program. Its distinctive feature is that it moves using caterpillar treads instead of legs. Gun cannon model number RX 77. A mid-range support mobile suit designed during the V-Project, the Earth Federation Force's initial mobile suit development program. It has limited maneuverability, but its heavy armor makes a shield unnecessary. Jim, model number RGM-79. A mass-produced mobile suit based on field data acquired from the Gundam. These units are versatile, low-cost, easily manufactured, and many variations are in development. Jim, Sniper 2, model number RGM-79SP. A customized gym with upgraded armor and propulsion for use by experienced pilots. It has upgraded sensor systems, and as the name suggests, it has been specialized for sniper functions. Ground Combat Gundam, model number RX-79G, a pre-mass production Gundam for use in terrestrial combat. Adapted for mass production, the core block system has been removed, but as the unit was designed mainly for ground combat, it is loaded with primer-based armaments. Blue Destiny Unit 1, model number RX-79BD1. A prototype installed with the anti-new type operating system, EXAM. A high-performance machine, but there are many unknowns regarding the operating system, EXAM. Caution must be exercised in its use. Gundam Alex, model number RX-78NT1, designed and developed to be used by Ensign Amaro Ray. Some of the latest technology has been incorporated, including a 360-degree video monitor and magnetic coating. Zaku-1. Model number MS-05. This unit will be remembered as the first combat-ready mobile suit in history. Although it lost its title as the mainstay of our forces with the development of the Zaku-2, it is still used by rear-line troops and supply units.
My ba my chargeable battery ran low on pet power, so I had to swap it with with some alkaline battery. So I could still still continue this video. Zaku two, model number MS zero six. This main force multitask mobile suit has been used by our troops since the early days of the one year war. With multiple armament and body variations, this masterpiece might be called the symbol of Xeon. Zaku, Shara Custom, model number MS06S. The thruster output of this custom type is 30% greater than that of the Zaku 2. It gained fame as the personal machine of Lieutenant Commander Shar Aznabal, the Red Comet. Zaku Garma Custom, model number MS06FS, a Zaku 2F unit modified for the exclusive use of Garma Zabi. The most distinctive feature of this machine are the quad 40 millimeter Vulcans mounted on its head. Goof, model number MS07B, a successor to the Zaku 2, it was designed for ground combat. It is equipped with several weapons for use in hand to hand combat, such as a heat rod and heat saber. MS-09, a mass production mobile suit for use in ground combat. Heavily armored, it is capable of high-speed hover locomotion. At this point in time, it is considered to be the backbone of our forces. M03, an amphibious mobile suit, heavily armored to withstand underwater pressure. It is also the first Xeon mobile suit to be equipped with mega particle cannons. I'll do one more before I end the episode. M07, an amphibious mobile suit which is highly maneuverable on land. With a well-balanced design, its arms are equipped with mega particle cannons and claws for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Alright, okay. I'll get around to the yeah, viewing the rest of the mobile set of suits in this game. But right now, we gotta end it end of that video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.